The Okavango Delta is an absolutely pristine, unique ecosystem with amazing densities of wildlife. Huge grasslands, miles upon miles of African savanna. The only things missing were black and white rhino. In the 1960s through to the 1970s and into the early 1980s, poachers virtually had a free hand across Africa. By 1985, in the wilds of Botswana, there were no more rhinoceros. Rhino poaching in southern Africa has risen to astronomic levels in the past four years. It is with this in mind that the government of Botswana, in collaboration with wilderness safaris, decided to re-establish viable breeding populations of both black and white rhino. And this is how the Black Rhino Translocation Project was initiated. A small founder population of black rhino have been brought in from South Africa and are now happily resident in Botswana. Bringing back black rhino to the Okavango Delta has truly been a, an amazing experience. To move rhinoceros, a very precious animal, you've got to have the right people. Loading it into a crate. And the reason for that is that you've got to move these animals as quickly and as efficiently as possible. We loaded these animals onto an aircraft designed for carrying vehicles and men into action. The Botswana Defence Force C-130 Hercules aircraft, an absolutely massive military plane. It was a surreal experience flying into the Okavango Delta in this incredible aircraft and landing on this tiny dirt strip that rushes towards you at amazing speed. That alone was a remarkable process. The animals were landed safely and unloaded safely and put into pre-prepared bomas. The reason behind the bomas is that you want to be sure that you're releasing into the wild animals in optimum condition. They must drink water and they must flush. The second thing you want to do is get them eating and you introduce them to local vegetation. We gave them a menu of available browse and they picked and chose what they preferred and the teams go out every day and cut those particular trees and shrubs and feed it to them. When you are totally happy, we do an assessment. And then eventually we open the gates and they roam free. And then there's this tremendous moment. You can, I cannot, I cannot put it into words. It is highly emotional. What you're doing is, is something so important. You're letting an animal go into the wild where it belongs, where it's gonna find its own kind, where it is going to, and this is the essence of success, where it is going to breed. There's water, there's food, they are going to be living in the best place. Myself and George, we do a monitoring from Okavango Wilder Safari. So working together with the military people, Botswana Defense Force, and the anti-poaching unit from the government. Honestly, our rhino are very safe. You look at the area where we bring them, surrounded by water, and it's easy for security to monitor them. We're walking by foot almost every day. Once a week, we fly by helicopter. It is amazing to me the dedication that we have in Southern Africa. Countless numbers of people that have made this possible. It's a team effort to working together with these PDFs and anti poaching from government. It has been an amazing success story, purely due to this really close collaboration between governments security agents, private sector, and philanthropy. You know, the story of rhinos in recent years has been terrible. We are fighting 
for the survival of these animals. But believe me, there are people who care. We have brightness amidst the doom and gloom. This is not the end of the story. Our Botswana Rhino Conservation Project is ongoing. For more information, visit rhinoconservationbotswana.com and to donate, visit wildernesstrust.com forward slash donate.